This week we're going to change things up a little bit. We're going to be focused on some low intensity moves that still have a high impact because they're going to work your entire core, which is important for stabilization, but we're also really focused on injury prevention. So one of the biggest things that most runners will go through at some point is an injury. A lot of it can be prevented if we take the time to do a few moves consistently. You know, there are a whole range of things you can do depending on what areas you might lack stability in or maybe not have total strength. We're going to focus on a few of the key areas which are going to be important for your overall stability. Move number one is a bear crawl. You may have seen this on The Biggest Loser with Jillian Michaels because she really likes it. So I'll give you a view from the side here. You're going to get into all fours, so tabletop position, and then you're just lifting your knees an inch, two inches off the floor. Immediately you have to stabilize your core. Now, you can practice walking forward. You can walk backwards. Do whatever you have room for in your space. You have to keep your core tight or you cannot do this. So what makes it a great move. You have to use the whole band of your core. So even in, say, a plank, you're holding a static position, which is not what you do while running. This is similar to running. You're moving your body forwards and backwards. Much the more second helpful. move we're going to do is also for your trunk. So a lot of us end up with tightness in one side or the other, and we don't entirely realize it, but you might be crossing with your arm while you're running. This is going to help loosen that up, and it's going to help prevent an eventual injury from using that one side incorrectly. So again, we're going to start on all fours. Bring your left arm down in between your legs. Well, measuring in between your legs. Right hand behind your head, and then you're twisting open. Looks easy, but if you're as tight as I am right now, it's not. The key here is that you aren't letting your hips shift. So the twist is all coming from your back, nothing from your hips. Now, you may find, as I did, one side is a lot easier. So if I start going to this side, oh, I really have to work to open up. If you're not that tight, knees together, come down into child's pose, and do the rotation from here. This is a harder angle. For this one, aim to do about 15 reps on both sides. So even if one side is better than the other, still do both sides. Don't allow yourself to create a new instability. Final exercise, we want to work these hips. So, most of us have seen these exercises or know about them, and we just don't do them. They're super easy to do while you're watching TV, so pick any of them, do them consistently. 15 reps on each side, three rounds total. All right, you've got just your straight leg raise. This is great for these outer muscles, which don't get worked enough as runners because we're only going forward. Same thing for your inner, just going with that lower leg. Then we have the infamous clamshell, which you've probably seen in Runner's World or any of their books. This is a really, really great move for your entire hip area again. The one I'm currently doing for physical therapy is because I have a weakness in my glutes here. So knees staying together, rotating up. I can feel this all by itself without any resistance because I just ran 13 miles. But you can also do any of these moves by putting a band around your ankles and that's going to add more resistance. It's going to make it a harder workout, and it's going to work those muscles more intensely. Now, if you're worried about when to do these, do them after a run so that you aren't fatigued going into a run. Or better yet, do one set 
prior to your run. You're actually warming up all of these muscles, so you're making sure those rotators are ready to go. You're making sure those hips are warmed up and ready to activate. And then do a couple sets when you get done to build additional strength. So, all moves, look for around 15 reps, three rounds.